Hello friends, welcome to Abhinav My Coach. I am Dr. Abhinav Prakash. Today I am going to tell you some details about the Lucidus Extended Depth of Focus Lens, its benefits, loading technique and implantation. It provides very good near and distance vision as well as intermediate vision. So there are two zones, center is for intermediate and outer zone is for distance vision. And this is the optic showings the, that it provides the extended intermediate visions very good quality intermediate visions but uh, as it provides the intermediate visions it uh, compromises a little bit with the contrast also so to defocus curve increases it has two models one is large and one is small for the smaller eyes so here we start with the surgery so we start with the side ports as you can see this is a moderate density cataract and few sp spokes of cortical cataracts also and it has posterior subcapsular cataract also. Here goes the intracambral preservatory free lignocaine as the case is performed under topical anesthesia. And here anterior chamber is filled with the villa viscoelastic to coat the endothelium and Cornea is covered with the viscoelastic. Globe is stabilized with a globe stabilizer and 2.2 millimeter main port is made with the help of keratome. I perform to oh, I like to perform this uh, the capsular axis with the capsular tome uh, uh, axis needle only. So perfect adequate size 5.5 millimeter rexis is performed as the optic of the lens is 6 millimeter. So perfect round rexis is made first. Globe is stabilized. The globe stabilizer. The perfect square shaped main port is made with the help of Carado. Hydro dissection. Is performed. I would like to perform paper, routine paper emulsification as this is a moderate density cataract. I would prefer the flip and chop cat technique. So, nucleus is prolapsed out of the bag. Routine paper emulsification is performed. Nucleus is prolapsed out of the bag and little bit of viscoelastic OBD is injected behind and in front of the nucleus. Routine phaco emulsification is performed. So the nucleus is further chopped and divided into further smaller pieces and various quarters.
and all these nuclear pieces are further emulsified one by one high vacuum and irrigation settings are preferred one by one each nucleus piece is emulsified injected more visco elastic to emulsify the last piece so all the pieces are emulsified now it's time for irrigation and aspiration little bit of norepinephrine adrenaline is injected to dilate the pupil fully so pupil is dilated and irrigation and aspiration is performed the cortical fibers are aspirated very carefully in this case we can see because of hydration of stroma the main port cornea the main port is swollen and edematous so it happens because of leakage of fluid into the stroma of the cornea but it easily subsides within few hours after the surgery again visco elastic is injected so this is the packing and the blister pack the iol lucid is iol comes in this blister pack and a plastic plate is kept on the iol so first we remove this plastic plate and keep it sideways now this is the iol which is beneath this plate and the iol is placed straight into the cartridge so this is the iol and the cartridge is closed and a click or snap is heard and the iol is injected into the bag the haptics are little bit big and close loop so the first haptic is directly landed into the bag and the trailing haptic is dialed inside the bag with the help of the dialer and the complete bag uh, i will now is in the bag so now the meticulous aspiration of viscoelastic is done viscoelastic is removed from all the equator of the bag behind the lens in front of the lens and all the angles of the anterior chamber so the meticulous viscoelastic removal is performed we are going behind the eye so one should know these maneuvers how to go behind the eye well in each and every case without 
dislocating or bringing the lens out of the bag. So these maneuvers should be very gentle. This significantly reduces the post-operative inflammation and uh, raised intraocular pressure. See the three lights on cornea and three lights on IOL. The, these lights are called Purkinje images and these three lights should coincide with each other. In special, especially in these guide on flashes like extended depth of focus, trifocal lenses, the results depend very much on the Purkinje images overlap. Patient will see very good three dimensional vision if we overlap these two lights. See how nicely these two lights are coinciding. So this will provide very good results, visual outcome. Here I am performing limbal relaxing incision as the patient had one diopter of astigmatism against the room. So we can give limbal relaxing incision or paired limbal relaxing incision. Hope you must have liked the video and thanks for watching. I appreciate your patience. Thank you very much.